Hi Capricorn and welcome to your Venus Love Tarot reading. This is for those of you that have your Sun in Capricorn or your Venus in Capricorn. Venus is moving into Scorpio on October 8th and she will be there until October 31st. So Capricorn, get ready for some intense emotions. Um, a lot of passion and chemistry you know it's affecting each sign a little bit differently um, the first eight readings were actually like really flirty and fun and Sagittarius's reading was deep deep and serious so I am very curious Capricorn to see how Venus moving through Scorpio is going to impact you guys in regards to love and romance in pursuit deep connection and this came out in Sagittarius's reading Capricorn so if you have a Sagittarius connection you might want to check out that reading as well and karmic lessons okay Capricorn this energy coming through for me is um, a little bit similar to some of the other readings where you know that we've been going through some crap whether within a relationship or just in our dating life and now as Venus moves through Scorpio there's this deep desire to really connect soul to soul to be vulnerable to share the deepest parts of ourself and in pursuit sits in the middle um, of your reading of the energy surrounding your reading so Capricorn a couple different scenarios that I'm picking up from this is some of you and there is, um, and this is more for like the singles who are dating, there is somebody that you are very interested in, all right? Um, you may be trying to pursue them, you may see them, you guys may go on dates, or you may just be friends. But the reason why that's not like working or um, really going anywhere is because there's karmic lessons going on, whether those are for you or they're working through some karmic lessons, okay? And this could go the other way where Capricorn, um, maybe there's somebody really pursuing you, you're interested, but there's other things going on like some emotional baggage or some emotional wounds that you're still working through or filtering through so you're not readily available. There is definitely a message of that coming through where some of you, there's this relationship and one person isn't really energetically available. It's not about being emotionally available. It's about being energetically av available. They've got to work through some karmic energies before they can properly align to you in this connection or you've got to work through some karmic energies before you can properly align to them. So it's if you're experiencing that, it's not that... Um, somebody's not interested in you Capricorn it's really out of their control like they've it's there's an energetic block and they've got to work through that okay um, now for others of you uh, this is a whole different message and I don't feel like that really applies if that applies it's like the past energy and you're overcoming that and you're moving out of that energy because we have a deep connection and in pursuit Capricorn so um, I feel that some of you there's somebody who is very very interested in you I don't feel like this is a secret to you because of what I see here um, this could be somebody that's you know in your life right now or this could be a newer person coming in during during the month of October but man Capricorn it's like somebody is pursuing you hardcore or because this is general this could be flipped and if you are trying to pursue somebody you're hardcore on it like you think about them um, you're not interested in anybody else like you you see the finish line and you're like that's where I want to be and you know same goes the other way for if somebody's really pursuing you hard like they're so earnest in it all right so Capricorn um, because this is a general reading you could have a couple of um, romantic potentials showing up in the month of October just because of this however um, you know deep connection that's where I feel you're more inclined to gravitate towards and wanting to spend your time with is the person that you feel connected to most um, soul to soul and you know maybe for the most part, like, let's just say you don't really like to go that deep. Well, in October, Capricorn, you're very in touch and in tune with your emotions, whether you want to be or not, you're feeling them and you're feeling sensitive and soft, um, towards the, uh, somebody special. And, um, 
I feel as though a wall is almost coming down, a barrier coming down for you uh, just because of the way this person is, like the way you feel in their presence within their energy. Okay, so let's pull some tarot. Five of Cups, Four of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, and lastly, the Seven of Cups. All right, Capricorn, so you guys pretty much uh, just have heart and soul energy coming through with cups and wands really so yeah whether so if you're not really a sensitive person and that's not to say that you don't feel emotions and things like that it's just out of all the Capricorns I have known in my life um you guys are, are just tend to be much more reserved about your emotions, like holding yourself together. Um, you know, when you snap, you can snap and get very angry. But for the most part, like, you guys aren't somebody I would really attribute to being super emotional people. It's not that you don't feel. I, you're just more logical and level-headed. Like, um, it's cause and effect that drives you more than emotions for somebody like me who's a water sign where it's my demise, the emotional attachment and connection. Like, very, very hard for me to let go of things because of that where, as with you guys, I don't feel like that influences as much if a situation is very bad and you can see it as such. It's like you guys have more of an emotional strength to pull away, not so controlled by emotions. And um, what I see here is exactly like me as a water sign where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling everything. Like, what's going on? I, I, I'm I, sorry I hurt your feelings. You were really, really wrong and I know I got mad and I was a little bit mean, but like, I'm sorry, even if they deserve it. Okay, that's kind of where you're at, Capricorn. Like, you're just very sensitive and soft and it, whether you're male or female and in, in tune with your partner like you're feeling everything that they're feeling okay there's just no escaping it it's very soul based for you guys especially with this Harrowfin coming in okay so um some of you could be in committed relationships some of you could just kind of be dating somebody or you know you could be meeting somebody brand new in october what i see capricorn here is five of cups which is sadness not getting along, arguments, fights, um, you know, feeling rejected, left behind, left out, overlooked, neglected, all of those things. But this energy is what starts the reading and it's transitioning into this Four of Wands, which is stability and happiness and celebration and strength. And that moves into the Eight of Wands, which is a surge of energy. It's passion. It's communication. It's, you know, a lot of fun. If you look at, you know, what's going on, he's very exhausted from all the fun he was having. So Capricorn... Um, Regardless of your current status, you know, if this reading is is for you, Spirit's speaking to you, and, you know, some of us don't know that until the month moves, you know, through whether we know this reading was for us or not, but for those of you that Spirit is speaking to, um, it's like you guys are coming out of um, a drought, some heavy energy, a lot of things that were, you know, making you sad, bringing you down. This could be within your current committed relationship or it could have been things external to the relationship that just had you sad. Um, some of you, this could be like, I can't find anybody I truly connect with or, um, you know, I'm sick of all these games and the dating scene and that's changing Capricorn it's going from five of cups into four of wands so sadness um, disharmony into solidity foundation happiness celebration followed by a lot of passion excitement and fun and getting together and it's um, even though you know that is you know intimacy fun things like that it's very spiritual based okay anybody that you're intimate with I feel you guys are like soul to soul during that act, during coming together in an intimate way. 
it's not just a physical thing no way not with the hierophant here and that's what i mean by those of you um where you're not typically an emotional person you are going to be very much so in October just because Venus is moving through Scorpio. You're just feeling everything like everybody else and um, it may overwhelm you at times but at the same time if this is like a somebody that's newer to you that you're dating or this is a brand new connection I feel like you guys bond very quickly just because of this energy all right and you know if this was like the devil and then the followed by the eight of cups I'd be like but it's gonna be short-lived no this is the Harrowfa and the seven of cups which is we're very connected at the soul and now we're fantasizing and dreaming about what we want to be what we want to experience with each other how we want to grow how we want to evolve also Capricorn um with this eight of wands those of you single lots of attention coming your way all right um somebody could be in hot hot pursuit of you and they're gonna make it very well known and if you've just been sad been single you know hung up on kind of a past relationship this new energy you know who's ever pursuing you you might really want to give it a chance and just see where it goes because my goodness it looks very fun like it starts out fun but you guys instantaneously connect and bond at the soul because we got the Harrowfint there so let's pull some more cards unaligned intentions and this here um, comes through for that very first message about those of you where there's somebody you have this connection and all this but it's like not going anywhere again it's an energetic block it doesn't have to do with interest or desire it's there it's just like spirit blocks this union because this person needs to resolve some karma or you need to resolve some karma it's like one side or the other and once that takes place then you guys may very well have a good chance of coming together and having a romantic partnership and uh, look at that personal life path journey and last out is awakening emotions okay so capricorn um here's spirit acknowledging you your strength your independence whether you are in a committed relationship or not okay this is you but here it is awakening emotions where um i don't know like you it's almost Just be careful with who you involve yourself with romantically because if you're not somebody that can normally be manipulated emotionally, it might be the case while Venus is in Scorpio just because you're so in tune with everything. Um, but mostly Capricorn, this to me is speaking about, you know, those of you that are kind of dating or you're meeting somebody new. Um, it's no longer about being single and being independent and being on your own because these beautiful emotions are being, are, you know, awoken within, rising to the surface. And the, there's such a deep connection here between you and another. You got it there and then you've got it with the Herofant. Um And if you are in a committed relationship Capricorn all of this to me is really like you guys are overcoming some heavy energy some difficulties some challenges that you have experienced within the relationship coming through with that karmic energy and now as Venus moves through Scorpio um, instead of you guys feeling kind of like not on the same team or being able to be open and speak and be vulnerable and just express everything that's changing you both are filling in a very safe space to come together because it's soul to soul and when it's soul to soul there's just a sense of walls coming down and feeling like you can be vulnerable and real and express and that it's a safe thing all right um because awakening emotions capricorn it's happening whether you want it to or not it is happening all right let's pull some more cards supportive and to heal your wounds nice yes Capricorn those of you committed 
exactly what's happening like you guys are overcoming some life lessons that you signed up for to experience with each other through your romantic partnership and you are overcoming that and here is the passion and connection being very strong between the two of you um, you know somebody you're just dating or somebody new coming into your life Capricorn walls come down and if you were hung up like because we do have this five of cups and now we have heal your wounds so if you were like really hung up on somebody from your past like I really hope that I can reconcile this relationship and get back with this person or you it's not so much you want to get back with them you've just really been struggling to move on and get past the hurt and the heartache that they put you through now as Venus moves through Scorpio that's shifting and changing and you're it's like you're being brought back to life and this newer connection or brand new connection coming into your life Capricorn allows you to leave the past in the past and heal your wounds and accept what's being offered to you today because again it's like with the Herald fan here and deep connection instantaneous bonding could be a very unexpected expected for some of you all right and um again those of you where this is somebody that you have this connection they like you you like them just give us some time because there's some karmic energy and it's like there's an energetic block that will remain there until that karma is resolved all right so capricorn those are your messages i'm wishing you all the best take care